All right, here we go again, and we have finally made it to top three of Frosty Fausting Samurai Showdown Tournament. So we have Score versus Scrub Sidebot, who's crawled himself all the way back from losers, and uh, Score, who's fell down from winners finals, and we're finally kicking off this top three. Let's go. All right, uh, so Scrub Sidebot immediately on the defensive, and Score takes advantage of it. He's already got the corner. He's already started his poking pattern. And he's blocking uh, Tam Tam's escape. But uh, Scrub Sidebot, you know, he still has enough mind to any air. At least the, the first time. But right now, his decisions seem questionable. Using that uh, rare down heavy in the DP cancel. Since he has the corner, he gets him a lot more damage than usual. Guy got jumping away, so he didn't, he's not able to get the punish. Now you go seeing another example of Tam Tam's low profile with uh, versus uh, how Mars far medium. Now back to these poking patterns. You see Score getting kind of frustrated there, getting kind of antsy, so he's picking them apart. And if you, once once you figure that out as a Tam Tam player, that's that's when you like all your real fun starts because you basically just start just cutting people apart like so. Though Score kind of got his composure at the end, he didn't have enough health to really challenge him too much. All right, uses the the jump in to get a throw. So Scrub Sidebot has been unusually shy when uh, Score gets a little too close. When he was a little more active, I feel, versus the other two players. And Score using that back dash, the forward dash, the jumps. The fake fireball to just to keep his opponent guessing. And once he has him like overly focused on one thing, he just jumps in and usually un uh uncontested. And he's gotten a lot of throws. And I guess on the flip side, if Tam Tam doesn't have weapon flip, the punishment's not gonna be too heavy. At least compared to what most characters will do. Since his jump in is floating and he doesn't get the SSM. So Score just kind of saw the hesitation in Scrub Sidebot and just started throwing him around. <laughs> it was like, there's no other way to really put that. Right, Scrub Sidebot starting to get a little more aggressive with those pokes, taking in that space, throwing them skulls, just trying to keep him occupied. He has him in the corner boxed in, so he knows he doesn't have to do much here. He just has to make sure his opponent doesn't uh, get too antsy. But... He uh, catches that uh, <laughs> deflect. And that's what I was mentioning earlier with the Bates uh, versus Scrub Sidebot match. You stand outside of the place where Tam Tam's pokes reach, but your deflect will still hit, and that's where Tam Tam is really weak, and he has to make efforts to move up. Yeah, it goes ahead and burst. <laughs> Luckily for that whiff throw, all he got was a far medium slash. So now, like, um, Scores is kind of trying to weather the storm of this uh, rage explosion. And now that that's over, he's sitting in rage himself. He's trying to land it, but uh, Scrub Sidebot is kind of keyed on to that. He's just poking him to death. All right, Score gets the throw into <laughs> Weapon Flip after bursting. I guess he was waiting for something, and he ended up getting thrown. So Score takes the first game. Scrub Sidebot thinking to himself how he wants to go about this, because how he was going about it wasn't too bad. It's just, you know, a lot of times it was just kind of too little, too late. So he needs to try to keep that uh, energy and momentum and patterns of his pokes consistent through the game. While keeping his anti-airs on deck to kind of keep score at bay. Because it's not like he got closed out. It's just he would have moments of brilliance, and but it would not be consistent throughout the match. All right, uh, I'm going to see if I can kind of skip ahead here without going past it. All right. All right, match two. All right, I liked how uh, Score was looking for the uh, jump back uh, heavy slash from uh, Scrub Sidebot's run. He, he, wasn't, he didn't quite get it in time, but Scrub Sidebot definitely did run in and almost get it. Now you go. You see, score utilizing that deflect outside of uh, Tam Tam's poke range, and it's keeping Scrub side by honest because he's definitely doing a lot less pokes. And I'm surprised he hasn't been doing any down heavies, but I think he's scared of the jump in since score has presented it enough.
And so now Scorch is kind of backing off, but that was actually a bait. As soon as uh, Scrub Sidebot tries to chase the back dash, he immediately comes in with a throw. But Scrub Sidebot gets a throw of his own with the weapon flip. Let's see if he has the pressure. Doesn't put any pressure on uh, on Score. Gets reset, then hit again. So even though the weapon flip gave him a lot of damage, he's still kind of in a life deficit situation. And he tries to go for the jump. But that man, how am I all guys a DP? So you can't quite get you can't quite be that straightforward about it. There he goes. I like that he did that slight run after the block jump in to just kind of like let him know that he might press a button. And so he kind of froze up. And since he has no weapon, he can't burst this uh jump in damage. Manages to get a sweep, but he is down quite a bit. And right now he's just kind of running in looking for something. And again, Score has a DP, and he has the reactions to use it, especially versus uh, Tam Tam's floaty jump. So, Scrub Sidebot, you know, he's, while he lost control in some of the matches, he didn't just, like, go downhill. That one, he kind of went downhill, and he just kind of felt like he didn't really know what he wanted to do there. Because usually he kind of keeps his, he keeps his cool, and he tries to hang in there, even when things aren't going his way. But I think Scorch just kind of, drained the hope from him but he seems to be back in spirits now he's moving around again he's putting um hit boxes on the hit boxes on the screen controlling that space forcing a uh, score to make some hard reads to get in but he's not quite checking on those anti airs not even the air to air not the uh down medium Using that down heavy dragon punch cancel combo. That's that's something you don't see any how Mars really do. And that's his max damage in the corner. So that's how you know that you know this guy he knows his character. And there he goes, poking with the medium slash, and he whiff punishes with the running medium slash and gets the <laughs> gets the weapon flip. Really smart from score. Ooh, they're running C. Now, score punished, but he didn't do his DP. I, I mean, he does a lot to throw, but that was interesting. Maybe he didn't believe in it. He believed it would hit on punish, or nonetheless, he's still in control. Scrub sidebot is again. He's kind of clamming up now, which is kind of uncharacteristic of him, except in his score set. And now you see score just he's just at his leisure, just going in and just throwing. So now he doesn't really have the health to, to tank a big hit, even if he burst, which is a problem in itself. Now he's definitely in the red, so he can't really take any damage. Now he definitely can't take any damage, like even a jab. So now he's bursted. Now he's going to have a lot of damage available to him because his health is so low. But he, he also doesn't have the leeway to be as aggressive as he wants. And score back dashes, anticipating a throw, and he gets e -sent. So good read by Scrub Sayabot to... Uh, Bring the light scores down. Gets the skull. So now he's just got to drag him down little by little. And it's working out so far. So now he's actually he reversed the life lead. So either opponent can die at any time. End of score. But score still has his rage bar. This is, this is the last round of the set potentially. If uh, Scrub Saibot does not win this. But Scrub Saibot has gotten the confidence he needs to put those pokes back out there. But score is not to be deterred. And then again, he's presenting the uh, deflect enough to make him think about it. And good punish from the uh, dodge and the throw from Scrub Sidebot as well. Score with the the awkward DP punish, but hey, it works. Seeing that air to air. And since Scrub Sidebot does not have his burst, he's going to have to take this damage and lose his weapon. And smartly using his own burst. To, to keep him off his weapon, and he punishes the uh, stance break with a throw and goes 3 0. There was a lot of competitiveness from um, Scrub Sidebot side, but again, he was being unusually shy and timid. And I think he got intimidated by Score and it cost him the match. But in any case, Score is making it right back up to Didi Makoff for Grand Finals. So tune into the next video.